Scaling can be applied to sketches or bodies. In this movie, we'll cover scaling bodies. The command uses a center point to scale around, and in some instances, we need to set up new origins to scale correctly. We also have the option to use the centroid of the part. Scaling is primarily used when you're doing mold parts, and you might need to account for the material shrinkage or some other issue, or you just want to make a little bit bigger or smaller part of your design. If you go up here to Features, notice there's no scale up here, so we need to go and actually add in that toolbar. So scaling is actually, if you right-click on Features, come down here to Mold Tools, and turn on Mold Tools to make sure you have that tab available. Under Mold Tools, we have a whole lot of other tools we just don't have time to cover in this course, but one of them I do want to cover is Scale. Go ahead and click on Scale. You can scale about the centroid, or the origin, or a coordinate system. So you can choose any one of those. I'm going to choose the centroid. Go ahead and just type in a scaling factor. You can either turn on uniform scaling or not, so you can scale different in X, Y, or Z if you wanted to, but I like uniform scaling. And go ahead and just click on OK. Notice that automatically makes the part bigger, and you can see it's a much bigger part, and it shows up as a feature in the tree. If you want to change that, go ahead and click back on it. In this case here, I could change it to 0.5 and click OK. You can see it keeps all the exact same features, just makes it a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. Scaling is a very useful tool. It's especially important when you're working with parts that might be molded and might have some shrink factor involved.